Muhammad Bashir, Yahya Jibril, Kenneth Ugu, and other members were a team of kidnappers that were apprehended in February this year for kidnapping. These youths were guilty of kidnapping pupils, teachers, school drivers, and also planned to kidnap some expatriates before they were caught. I came here to Hozu. So last week, uh, when I met Damilola, I met her on Sunday. So I approached her, I talked to her, I collected her phone number. So we started chatting. So she told me, I eventually asked her if she meet up. So she told me that she's very busy, she has exam. So I told her whenever she's free, she should let me know. So last week, Wednesday, towards Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, she told me that, yeah, she's free. She, do, she doesn't have exam on Wednesday. So I already planned this, that I already had it on mind that I'm going to use that in order. So I bought codeine and ritual. So I bought codeine and Sprite and mixed it up. So I gave it to her. Because I've, I, I, I first drank it so that it not look like I mix something inside, so I gave it to her and she drank. So I told her, she, uh, she, we, we met at uh, NMPC, Filele, facing the gas station. So I told her she should follow me so that we should go over to my place. So when I get close to my house, where I live, there was an uncompleted building. So we kneeled on the wall, we were just talking. So gradually, gradually, she's feeling weak, gradually, gradually. So Anna took her to the uncompleted building. So I strangled her to death. In September this year, Jeremiah, a young man in his 20s, allegedly killed a hundred level student, disembarked her part, intending to use them for money rituals. I am SP Dafe Bright, and this is Delta State Police Command. I'm having this brief with a very painful heart a very bad taste because these are young guys that has that are supposed to have wonderful future ahead of them they are all less than 30 years and it pains me to tell you that they are all involved in murder cases again recently on the 29th of october sp bright edafi from the delta state command brought to light that four youths have again been apprehended for murder cases. Two out of these four are Ekene and Stanley, friends who allegedly murdered a poor woman in a bush while intending to steal a motorcycle. According to Ekene, the woman was first strangled before using a machete to complete the task. The numbers of murders reported to have been committed by the Nigerian youth is on the increase and is fast becoming a dangerous trend which the authorities appears to be heedless of. A value system that has been grossly encouraging ill-gotten wealth and a political elite that neglect to provide the much needed youth empowerment devices continues to wreak damage to the psyche of young men and women of the country. This paints a picture of what the future of the Nigerian youth could look like. And it is not a promising one. She is a woman. I tell her, say, why, why did this woman die? 